these are question number 12 and for question number 12 we have a b and c vectors and we have to find the vector d which is perpendicular to a and b and c dot d is 15. so let's write down the vectors so a vector is i cap plus 4j cap plus 2k cap and b vector is 3i cap minus 2j cap plus 7k cap and c vector is 2i cap minus j cap plus 4k cap so we have to find it d vector so let's say d vector is x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap and it says that a so the d vector is perpendicular to a so if d vector is perpendicular to a so that means the dot product of a and d should be equal to zero so our a vector is i cap plus 4j cap plus 2k cap it's x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap that's equal to zero so it should be x plus 4y plus 2z that's equal to zero let's say this is our equation one also <coughs> d vector is perpendicular this d vector is perpendicular to b vector so <clears throat> that means x i cap so if d vector is perpendicular to b vector so that means dot product of b and d should also be equal to zero and our b vector is 3 i cap minus 2 j cap plus 7k cap it's dot with d x i cap plus y j cap plus z k cap that's equal to zero so this should be 3x minus 2y plus 7z that's equal to zero that's equation two and also c dot d so c with d has a dot product equal to 15 and our c vector is 2i cap minus c vector is 2i cap minus j cap plus 4k cap and d vector is xi cap plus y j cap plus z k cap that's equal to 15 and this should be 2x minus y plus z is equal to 15 so that's our equation 3 and let's try to solve this equation 1 2 and 3 so from equation we get x is minus 4y minus 2z so let's solve equation 4 and if we put this equation 4 in 2 and 3 so that's what we are going to get so our equation 2 becomes 3 into minus 4y minus 2z is minus 2y plus 7z so it's 7z so actually 7z so that's equal to 0 so that gives me minus 12y minus 6z minus 2y plus 7z is equal to 0 so this should be minus 14y plus z that's equal to 0 let's say this are equation 5 and if we put 4 in 3 so this is 3 this gives 2 into minus 4y minus 2z minus y plus 4z is equal to 15 that's minus 8y minus 4z minus y plus 4z that's equal to 15 this gets cancelled it's minus 9y is equal to 15 that gives me y as 15 by 9 
that should be 5 by 3. So it's 5 minus 5 by 3. So y is minus 5 by 3. And if I put in y here, so this gives me minus 14 into minus 5 by 3 percent, and that's 0. So that should be 14. 5 is 70 by 3 percent, and z is minus 70 by 3. So we have got y, we have got z, and let's now try to get x that was from 4, it's minus 4 into minus 5 into 3, minus 2 into z is minus 70 by 3, so that gives me 20 by 3 plus 140 by 3, that is 160 by 3. So that's the value of x. So this is our x. So our d vector, which was x i cap plus y, it's, it was y j cap plus z k cap plus so this is 160 by 3. It's i cap y is minus 5 by 3 j cap. It's minus 70 by 3 k cap. So this can be written as 1 by 3. 160i cap minus 5 j cap minus 70 k cap. So that's the value of the t vector. Thank you for watching. So this is also question number 12. Thank you for watching.